Hey there, it's Modern Retro Tech, and today we'll look at matching braces problem. It's also known as matching parentheses or matching brackets, however you'd like to call them. In any case, this is a simple problem to solve. I wanted to highlight it because I also think it's very suitable for beginners, especially beginners with Rust. And I wanted to do something a bit simpler for a change as well. The problem is, given a set of braces, are those braces balanced? Does every opening brace has a closing brace and do they placed in a sequence that makes sense? So on the left, you can see examples of balanced braces that are matching, and on the right, you can see examples of mismatched braces. Of course, this comes up every time you would want to write a syntax highlighter or an editor. So let's look at an example first. Here we have a string of braces that we want to check, and we have a stack. And stack is just a data structure that allows you to push items into it and pop them out. An interesting thing about stack is that it follows so-called first in last out order. So the items that was pushed first will be the last to go out. You can think about stack as a stack of plates, for example. When you put plates on each other, the last plate you put on top of the others will be the first one you will take out. Now let's go through the braces one by one. The first one we select is a square brace and we take it as an element and push it onto stack. Since stack is empty, there is nothing else to do, right? Now let's look at another brace. This one is a round opening brace and it does not match the square opening brace. So we will also just put it on top of the stack. Next one is the first closing brace we see. And this brace does match the brace that is on the top of the stack, the one we just put in. So instead of pushing this closing brace on top of the stack, we will take the top of the stack brace out of it. So both of those just disappear. The next one is a closing square brace. And it does match the square brace that is now on top of the stack because we removed the round brace that we placed on it before. The square brace that we placed first is now the top of the stack. They both match. So we pop it out of the stack and both of those are gone. We repeat this process with all consequent braces and eventually we run out of braces. Now, because our stack is empty, it means that all those braces were matched, so the string passes our check. Let's compare it with an example where braces do not match. In this case, you can see that we have an opening round brace and the closing curly brace. Those don't match, so the string is invalid. The algorithm, though, runs exactly the same way. We take our first opening square brace, we put it on top of the stack, we take our opening round brace, since it does not close the square brace, we put it on top of the stack as well. And now we are at the brace that will break everything. It is a closing brace, but it does not match with the round brace that is on top of the stack. So we only have a choice of either putting it on top of the stack or already terminating our algorithm because we know that the first time we put the closing brace on top of the stack, there is no match. However, in many cases, you do want to match the whole string. Sometimes you need to count the number of uh, inconsistencies. Sometimes you need to report the precise positions where braces didn't match. So let's see how it will continue to run. We put this one on top of the stack and we look at the last brace in our example, which is a closing square brace. It does not match the closing curly brace. So we put it on top of the stack as well. And now we ran out of the string but our stack is not empty, which means the string is invalid. The braces are not balanced. And that was the whole algorithm. Now let's implement it in Rust. First off, let's define our opening and closing braces. We'll build a hash map and we want to make it a constant throughout our program. So we just use lazy static to define this hash map. We also define a hash set that will contain all parentheses that will allow us to also accept strings that do not contain only braces, but also some other characters. And now we can define two helper methods. First one is is parentheses that just checks that some character is in all parents hash set. And the second helper method is is matching, which accepts opening and closing braces 
and then it checks our hash map to see if those two are matching. And here's the core of our algorithm. The function called is balanced. Is balanced function accepts an input string reference and it returns a boolean that tells us if uh, the string has balanced braces or not. We start by defining our stack. Stack in Rust is implemented via vectors. Vectors have two methods that allow us to use them as stack. First one is push, which adds an element in the end of the vector or on top of the stack and pop, which removes the last element from the vector or from the top of the stack, if you will. So for each character in our input string, we check if it is parentheses and if it is, we check if it matches the last item that we pushed on the stack. If those match, we pop that last item from the stack. If they don't match, we push the current character on top of the stack. And in the end, if our stack is empty, we know that the parentheses were matched. And if it is not empty, we know that we have some kind of imbalance. So this is our return value. For our test, we will just define two strings that have balanced parentheses and a bunch of strings that do not, and we will run it. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. See you next time.